Hello everyone and welcome back to W Bricks where today I've got some incredible Lego Ninjago information for you guys. I've got the names of almost every single Lego Ninjago summer set. So we're going to be going through that here today. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and let's get started with today's video. All right and starting us off here at $10 we've got the Zane's Ice Motorbike for $10.99 84 pieces. I'm really hoping this is like the Jay's uh, Mech Battle Pack set for 10 that we just had released. I'm really hoping this is like it uh, with four minifigures for $10. If it's just a Zane with a motorcycle, I'm going to be pretty thoroughly disappointed. Uh, but, you know, I, I am curious to see what it's going to end up being. Hopefully, we hold out hope for that new style Battle Pack set for Ninjago. Um, but... Without the battle pack attached here onto the name, I'm a little nervous that it's just going to be a $10 motorcycle. This could range anywhere from literally a dirt bike, if it's a, you know, a battle pack sort of set, to maybe a bike kind of reminiscent of the original 2012 Zane snowmobile. So I think this could be a cool set. I'm just really, really, really hoping for those four minifigures. So let me know down in the comments below, what do you think of this $10 set? I, it, you know, it's something. All right, next up here is the Tournament Arena Battle for $50, 659 pieces. Now, this is one I don't know what to expect. I mean, it could be like an arena or something, uh, some sort of build. But keep in mind, guys, 659 pieces is not a lot for a location build. So it's, it's not going to be very big. It's not going to be, you know exciting in my opinion now i do know that we we have that shadow dojo set and the dragonstone temple coming out in march but um i i am worried about this one to be honest here guys i i don't know i don't expect it could be good but i really don't like medium scale location builds the, the first one that comes to my mind is either the sog headquarters from season eight or the uh, Tiger Widow Island from Season 6. Both of those were kind of medium-sized location builds, and I just really don't like them in comparison to the $80 to $100, $120 size location builds. Typically, those get the job done really well. So I am I am nervous about this one. Hopefully, it's got some good minifigures in it, but the price to piece looks good. Um, it's just I, just, I'm, I don't know what this is going to be, and I just don't like medium location builds. <laughs> I, I, I'm holding out hope for something good, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I've seen some people talking also about this maybe being like a legacy-style Chen's Island tournament arena. I'm going to say I definitely don't think it's that, guys. Um, it's definitely going to be from Dragons Rising. I Legacy is, is dead. I don't think there's going to be a tournament or from Tournament of Elements. So that's just my opinions on that. But uh, let's move into the next set here. The Ninja... Combo vehicle or combo ninja vehicle for ninety dollars, five hundred and seventy six pieces. Damn, five hundred and seventy six pieces for ninety dollars. I had to check and make sure I read that right, guys. That is that is really rough. That is not what we want to be seeing here. Feeling like it's a Lego Star Wars video. Looking at that that price to piece there. Better be some big damn pieces. That's what I'm saying, guys. Got to have some big pieces here. Very, very nervous about this one. Once again, very boring. I, I do like ninja combo vehicles. I mean, the Ultra Sonic Raider, the Ultra Stealth Raider, even recently the uh, Titan Mech or whatever, you know, I, the ninja combo mech from two years ago, whatever you're going to, I forget what the name is. I think it's ninja combo mech. Um, it, it, I, I like all of those sets. Don't get me wrong. I love the Ultrasonic Raider. I love the Ultra Stealth Raider. The Legacy Ultrasonic Raider is butt. Um, but the the Ultra Combo Mech recently here was really good. It's just... It's more vehicles, guys. And I, I really thought after the first half of the year here, we were going to kind of move out of the vehicles sort of an, you know area. But it, it seems that they're really hammering down the vehicles here in 2024 because, you know, another vehicle, this one obviously extremely overpriced, really making that Eagle, the Master Dragon price look good now. I mean, this is this is absurd here at, at this price to piece. So it's almost 20 cents a piece, guys. I just want to let you know. You're, you're coming up on almost 20 cents a piece there. It's going for probably about 16, 17 cents a piece in that set. And I just, oof, guys, that's that's really bad. So I'm a, I'm a little worried. I guess I should say a little more than a little worried about this set here. 
Really don't see anything too exciting coming out of it. Let's move on to the next one, though. Next up here at $100 is the Kohl's Titanium Dragon Mech. Another dang mech. I really thought we were going to get the mechs out of the way here at the beginning of the year. Uh, but it appears that we're not. And they're just going to keep coming. Now, I know a lot of people are excited that, oh, it's, it's a big coal set. Which, yes, that's very true. We don't get a lot of big coal sets. They are a lot rarer than anybody else. But we just got a coal mech. A coal mech, by the way, that was extremely good at $20. You know, I love Kai and all. But we just got an incredible Kai's mech. And as much as I love Kai... The Ninja Climbing mech releasing for him here on March was unnecessary. There were two mechs for Kai right here at the beginning, two mechs for Cole. They should have done six mechs, all at the $20 price point for all six Ninja. I guess add one for Sora and Aaron. So eight now, I guess. I just, I, I don't like this, guys. I really don't. I just, it feels like another pointless mech that, you know, we're all going to like for a day build it, put it on a shelf, and never touch it again, or not really even look at it again, because I doubt it'll be higher quality than some of the other mechs that we've seen. It's just, I I feel like there's so many better options they could go for. Now, I, I bet this is all in the show. I bet this is in the show, and I bet it's a really cool scene. But I feel like there's there's got to be something better than another mech from the show. And, and then here, talking about the last one, we'll move on to the last one here. The Fire Source Dragon for $150. Another dragon, an expensive dragon. Now, this has 1,716 pieces, so it's going to be a big dragon. Now, keep in mind, I'm building the world's largest Lego Ninjago dragon right now, so I'm curious to see what Lego can come up with. But $150 for a dragon, guys, it's another dragon. It's just, it feels like we're not getting anywhere. There's no progression. It's the same sets over and over again. And I know they sell well, or most of them sell well, but um, it just really feels repetitive at this point. Like, I want them to come up with some fresh new ideas and something something fun they haven't done before here with sets. And it feels like we're just hammering home the dragon and the mech and the dragon and the mech and the dragon and the mech. Here's a bike, dragon, mech, bike. Like, that's why I love the location build so much, because they're so unique to every season. Every season has its own unique scenery and build and it's and that is what makes the waves fun now i get it a 150 dollars dragon does sound exciting but it just feels like something we've seen over and over again i love fire dragons i'm doing a mock on it because i love fire dragons but i don't need one every year and i i just i really feel like we're we're kind of hammering home with the x-wing and tie fighter fight here there's always an X-Wing. There's always a TIE Fighter. The only difference is, is typically those stay on shelves for two to three years. At least with Dragons, we're getting a new one every year. But it, you, when you look forward to new waves of sets and new stuff, it's like, oh, come on, something new and exciting, something new and exciting. And then you're like, oh, it's another Dragon and a Mech. It's another Dragon and a Mech. I really think that this year's Ninjago started off very strong with these mini $20 mechs that were fabulous. And, and uh, I just, I don't know where this is going to go, guys. So I definitely have my concerns about this entire August wave. I'm definitely very concerned here. I, I don't know what to expect. I think that there could be some massive flops here or, or fails in this wave. And uh, we're just going to have to wait to find out. So we're still waiting to find out what that $250 set is. That's the one that we're missing right now. We basically have every set filled out for the year for Ninjago except for that $250 set. So make sure to like and subscribe here because I'm going to have that information out as soon as possible. Just so you know, there's also a miniature poly bag coming up for Ninjago. Uh, nothing too crazy about it. It's just going to be a Ninjago poly bag, probably reused figures from this wave. Uh, nothing too special there. So uh, let me know down in the comment section below, what do you think of this Ninjago wave? Are you excited? Am I just a little down on this right now? But um. Uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments. I'm very curious to see what all of you think. Thank you all for watching here today, guys. And uh, I'll be back as soon as possible with that information uh, on the $250 set. 
when I find out what the $200, $250 set is, I might not even wait until uh, the typical 11.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I might just get it out as fast as possible so I can inform you guys right away. Uh, depends on how close to 11.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time it is, uh, but uh, we'll see here. So make sure to stay tuned here within the next day or two while we figure out what that set is. So thank you all for watching today. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all later on W Breaks. Ah!